Okay, so next question I get a lot is, how do I motivate people who are going to be my customers or my clients? Um, so first, what I always tell people is sharing. You know, you need to be sharing every day, you know, so people know that you're drinking your shake every day, you're working out every day, you know, you're eating as healthy and as clean as possible, but being honest too, you know, it's not always about showing that perfect side, that everything is perfect, you do, do no wrong, you make no mistakes, it's also showing the imperfections, you know, so whether you, you slipped up and you had that uh, burger, you had those fries, or you went out and you had that glass of wine, um, you had that mixed drink kind of a thing, um, you know, you went grocery shopping and you found some really yummy cookies or whatever and you gave in, you know, just sort of everyday normal things that happen, you know, be honest, be true, um, sort of open up that portion of your life and share it. I don't, I think, um, you know, if you come across, you know, as like perfect and you, and you know, everything comes off as easy, then, um, you don't seem very relatable to people. And so that's what you don't want to happen. You want people to kind of build a relationship with you and pretty much that's what you're doing. You're just building relationships, having people be comfortable, um, and trusting you and that knowing that whatever program that you recommend or I recommend to you is the best one for you and that you will succeed and that along the whole journey you will be there step by step whether or not they keep moving forward they have a little setback you're still there and you're here um, for the long haul not just for that initial you know payday kind of a thing um, it does take some time you know uh, doing these videos as well takes a lot of um, just courage, I guess, really, at first, and even sometimes I just do the videos and I don't even um, review it because I don't really like, uh, I don't always like hearing my voice or hearing the little extra long pauses and all the ums that I say because it drives me crazy. So. Sometimes I don't do that. That's something, that's something I need to work on. So if you feel like you're super shy or you don't know a lot of people, you know, um, it's not that you're shy. It's just that you lack the skills right now um, to be able to share and put yourself out there. And that's something that in the group and in our group, we help you and you learn along the way. Um, I always deemed myself as sort of like a shy person, an introvert. I know a lot of people that know me would not describe me as that, but that's that's how I feel. I feel like I'm okay with people that I'm comfortable with. I can talk and have a conversation and I'm good to go. But if I'm in a new situation, I'm very quiet. I'm just going to observe. You know, I'm, sometimes I have a hard time looking people in the eyes if I don't know you because uh, I'm just sort of afraid of that rejection that you're not going to like me right off the bat. Um, but then also, it takes a lot out of me. It takes a lot of energy for me to go into those kinds of situations. I'm just, I don't know what's going to happen. So I need that time alone or I need that time with, you know, my close friends, my safety net to recharge. And that's okay. But this also helps me to practice and to get out of that comfort zone because it's not always good to just stay in your little bubble. Um, I've met so many people that I would not have met otherwise if I stayed in my little bubble, stayed here in, in Arizona. I made tons of friends from all over the country. I've yet to meet them personally, physically, but we have conversations like we are such close friends that I cannot wait for that to happen and I know it will just pick it up like nothing happened. Um, like there was no distance at all. So that's just sort of how I, um, I start off with um, my new coaches and being able to motivate that you do not need to be perfect you do not need to be at the end of your journey really um, people want to see you go along that journey and join you when you're at the end and you've got the six-pack and you're perfect then sometimes it seems unattainable and unrelatable and it can turn people off so don't think that you need to be perfect and don't think you need to be right at the end of your perfect goal of where you need to be